All right, guys, so this is my guest, Toby. I'm gonna be doing a cut on him today. So what we're gonna do is a nice, clean, tapered look. We're gonna fade in the back hairline a little bit, and I'm also gonna work with you guys on working around the head shape. We're gonna start off with our Andis Supra ZR Clipper. This is a motorized clipper that also uses the metal blade. So we're gonna use a two blade, which is different than a two guard. Two guard is definitely longer. Uh, so you can see how nice and clean, tight uh, that two blade goes. So I'm gonna work my way around his hairline. Now, I want you guys to notice that kind of U shape that I'm creating with um, the clipper. So all my clipper work is going to work on that U shape. It's going to uh, taper diagonal forward towards the front. I really want to follow the contour of his head shape. I really like bringing that hairline a little bit more forward, really focusing on that hairline. Working my way through, just following the, like I said, the head shape around and bringing it, dipping it down just a little bit um, right into the front. The other thing that I really focus on now that people have brought to my attention uh, throughout my men's cutting is really focusing on the balance in the very front. Uh, so making sure that that weight in the front is balanced on both sides of the head so when you look at them straight on in the mirror, you can see that there's balance within the haircut. So obviously I got a little bit of a weight line. Now I'm gonna work in with my three and a half blade. Now Toby's hair is a little bit thicker so he will still have a shadowed effect on that line. We're gonna go in and do scissor over comb later. So I'm not a barber, I'm a hairdresser and I really like combining techniques, uh, scissor over comb, clippering, um, to get my end result. Notice my comb now is diagonal forward. I, I'm not working diagonal back because that would take that weight line away. I want to keep that weight line moving towards the front of his head. And then as I work towards the back of the head, my comb will go more diagonal back. So again, following that head shape, keeping consistent with my technique. That's the biggest thing uh, in hair cutting in general. It doesn't matter if it's men's cutting or female. You want to make sure that you're consistent with every single thing that you do. It will show off in the end result of the cut. Now, I'm gonna work through the top. So I section everything. I'm not clipping it away. You'll see some people clip men's hair. I try not to if I don't have to. Um, so I'm going through just really making nice clean partings. I switched up my scissor. Now I'm using the Mizutani Type K. This is a five and a half inch. I don't like to use a seven inch scissor in everything I do. It's also a stronger blade so you get stronger lines. The smaller your blade, I've talked about this in a lot of videos, but if you're new to the channel, the smaller the blade, the stronger it is, the less it pushes is the hair. Technique wise here, what I'm doing is just bringing everything vertical across the head shape. We could call it horizontal. It depends on how you learned it, what school you went to, but just straight across the top of the head towards the fringe area. I'm lifting everything straight up. So what I'm getting by doing this is a square feel on the top, and then it's pushing that weight off to the parietal ridge area. So off to the edge of his head. Uh, what that's going to do is I'll go in a little bit later and detail that, but I'm keeping the weight just on the sides. You'll start to see it right here. Here, as I'm combing it up, you can see the, how it builds up at the parietal ridge. I'm going to part his hair where he's going to wear it, and then I'm going to work on the front as well. So you can see I lifted the hair up, I elevated everything, cut it straight across. Like I was saying, it pushed the weight to that parietal ridge area. So now what I'm going to do is just use the loose teeth of my comb, go through working scissor over comb just to clean it up uh, and match up the top and the sides. That's how Toby's going to wear his hair. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a 1A blade and I'm gonna take the hairline a little bit tighter. What that's gonna do is almost make it not invisible because I don't wanna go skin tight. I just wanted to bring it a little closer so that I don't have those really harsh squared off lines. But just taking the hairline a little bit tighter and then going through scissor over comb using the fine teeth of my comb to get those hairs nice and tight and then going through and getting rid of that weight line. So the last thing I'm gonna do is work on the fringe area. And this is kind of a cool little trick. What I do is I comb everything down, but just a slight bit, about a half inch of the hair, and I lift it into my comb. You don't cut it straight across the forehead because that'll give you those blunt, kind of dumb and dumber bangs in the front. So just cutting that guideline, and then I take another parting across, about another half inch. I've overdirect everything forward. That's gonna push some more weight towards the back, but it gives me those nice short fringe pieces that are easy to style. Now the next step is gonna be Mitch Steady Grip. Now the great thing about this, it's a gel, and a lot of guys think that gel is just something you put in your hair and you go. For me, gel is the foundation of a style. So what I'm gonna do with Toby is I put gel in as my base. I 
blow it dry, get work out all the calyx and kinks that helps give me that hold to do that. Also gives me a really nice clean look. So notice that I'm blow drying that style in. And then once I have the style in, then I'll go in with my finishing product which is gonna be the Barber's Classic. So this is a moderate hold. It's got a really nice shine to it. So I go through, it adds the shine. So because I blew it dry, we didn't have as much shine in the hair. Already have the hair placed where I want it. This is just the finishing touches. Gives a little bit of separation, and then I'll go through and I'll comb the hair into the set style. So he likes to have that nice clean parting in his hair, but this is the end result. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys on the next one.